Welcome back to Cooperstown. We come from Kansas City to Cooperstown to get a chance to catch up with this man who we see at Kauffman Stadium all the time, Royals owner John Sherman. But I know that this has become so important for you. Maybe it always was, too. What is so special to you, our team, our city, about Buck O'Neill and the Negro Leagues? Well, starting with Buck, I mean, it's the spirit of Buck O'Neill, right? We were, we were talking earlier that, uh, and, and Bob Kendrick, you know, the way he talks about Buck, I mean, it, it was such a gracious spirit. And, you know, we talk about he should have been in a long time ago. Buck wouldn't want us to talk about that. He wants us to celebrate this great day that in, in his induction uh, this weekend. So uh, from that perspective, the museum, though, I think I, from a Kansas City perspective, I think it's one of our most important cultural institutions. Institutions. I think the story of the Negro Leagues is some is a story that needs to be told. It transcends. It's about baseball on one hand, but it transcends baseball, and it's a story that needs to be told far and wide. And I think it's, I think it's incredible that it was that Buck O'Neill spent that much time in Kansas City. That he's one of the founders. That the leagues were founded there, and this is in the Monarchs were one of the great franchises in Negro Leagues history. I think. We feel a, a really close connection to all of that uh, with as the Kansas City Royals, so it's really important to us. It's not easy to get into this Hall of Fame. I know we all know that, but for all the history of the Kansas City Royals, you don't see a whole lot of Royals' names in there. And again, while Buck O'Neill is not a Royal, he'll forever be connected with Kansas City and the Monarchs. Right. No, it's very, very... Bob Kendrick was saying this morning that this will complete his baseball legacy. His legacy goes way beyond baseball, but it is very, very difficult to get in the Hall of Fame. I think about our club. I think it's our 54th year. We've had some great players. We've had some pretty good ball clubs along the way. We have one player and one journalist in the Hall of Fame. Um, I think we have some more that might have that opportunity, but in, in some ways they still have work to do. It just demonstrates how long you have to uh, compete and perform at a high level uh, at a high level and for a long period of time to get in this in this building and it's it's really phenomenal opportunity for Kansas City and certainly honoring Bucks well deserved. Perhaps Salvador Perez one day or many others, George Brett and Denny Matthews at this point and I think we are all very proud to be able to claim Buck O'Neill as well, whether in Kansas City or anywhere around this country. John, thanks a lot. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. Thank you, Joel. Appreciate it.